to you by thesis123.com. I learn and teach online. Here's our next question, number 50. A second order real system has the following properties. A. The damping ratio psi is equal to 0.5 and undamped natural frequency omega n is 10 radians per second. B. The steady state value of the output to a unit step input is 1.02. The transfer function of the system is dash. So we have our four options A, B, C, D and we are supposed to find out the right transfer function for the uh, characteristics given in the question. So we start by writing down the second order system characteristic equation. Second order. characteristic equation is given in the form of s square plus 2 psi omega n s plus omega n square is equal to 0. Now this is our second order characteristic equation. It's a general equation. It would be good to remember. And we have been given that psi value is 0.5 and frequency omega n omega n is 10. So let's substitute these values here in the above equation. So we get s square plus 2 into 0.5 into 10 s plus 10 square is equal to 0. And this gives us s square plus 10 s plus 100 is equal to 0. Now this is our characteristic equation. Let us see now, the denominator matches with option B and option C. So we have both of these options with the denominator of the characteristic equation here, s square plus 10 s plus 100, right? But we have a different numerator. Now in order to find that, we will have to figure out the DC gain, that is important. We need to check uh, the DC gain and see which one matches the given here see we have uh, the steady state value of the output to a unit step input so the ratio is given as 1.02 now we have to check with the options over here which one matches with this ratio here so the ratio of the output to unit step input is dc gain okay and that would be the numerator divided by omega n square. This is sort of a trick, a easy way of remembering the uh, output to a unit step input. You can take it as the numerator of the transfer function divided by omega n square. Now omega n value we already have as 100. So in order to check now we have ruled out options A and D, right? So it cannot be A, it cannot be D, it has to be either B or C because of the denominator. The denominators of both of these options match the second order characteristic equation that we have just found. So let's just cross off these two and concentrate on just B and C. So we have to check which one of these two will give us the value of 1.02 as the steady state value. Let's take, let's start with B first, 102. So if we place 102 here, we get the value of 1.02. It matches. If we place 100 here, 100 by 100, which is 1, it doesn't match. So that's not the DC gain. So that tells us that option B is the right answer. I hope this has helped. Thank you for watching this video. For future videos, please click here to subscribe YouTube channel. Visit our site thesis123.com for free student project or research ideas and online training. Follow us Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Pinterest.